Hi, how you doing? Nice seeing you. I, well, look what I picked on the way in. <laughs> so, um, oh my God, the apples look amazing. I gotta get a couple of those from pie. Okay. So, I'm here today because I wanna pick up some pumpkins. I'm doing my mother's famous shepherd's pie and pumpkins. Yep. And you know I do that every year, so. Oh. You have the best pumpkins. You gotta go to the pumpkin patch. Are you gonna take me out? I need small ones. Sure, let's take a look. Let's do it. what I need. Excellent. We need 12 little pumpkins. I'm gonna find those baby pumpkins. Let's see. This size is good. 12 of these little babies. Just on right in there. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's find the small ones. Right. You know, pick up some apples. What type of apples do you produce here? I see so many different varieties. Oh, it's have, so confusing. We have over 12, 13 different varieties of apples, but they come and go throughout the season. So we've already phased out three types of apples so far this year. Oh. And then as it gets colder, better apples will come, more apples will come. Red and Golden Delicious don't come till after a good frost. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, what's your favorite apple? Ah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I love pink ladies. Actually, pink ladies are one of my favorites, but yeah. that apple is so late that we literally start picking it when ready to close. Really? Yeah, that, I'll have to come when? End of November? That apple's almost good after a freeze. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. And what do you think is the best for an apple pie? Uh, Cortland seemed to be the choice of most people. Um, here on our pies, we use a mixture of the apples. Oh, beautiful. So. I gotta get these too. <laughs> I'm just loading you up with stuff. Let's look at some of your pies that you make. Sure. You put these down over okay. here. Okay. Did you bake these yourself? These I actually do, and then on the weekends I get some help from a few people. Uh, wow. And what about the donuts? I've had your donuts. They're amazing. Oh, uh, the donuts we make right here. Do you have one for me? <laughs> I'll take one. Joe, I have to get like 12 of these for the guests. The kids go mad for the candy apples. This will be like best costume, but everyone will win. Oh my God, Joe, I'm making also on my Halloween episode cornbread casserole, and you have all this beautiful fresh corn. I've got to get some of this too. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Right, I got my apples, I got my corn, I got my pumpkins. <laughs> it's over! We did it. <gasps> Wasn't it terrifying? Hey everybody, this is my Halloween episode of You Had Me at Kitchen. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a blast today. Guess what I am? A rapper! Alexia rapper, Alexia. <laughs> and she's a flapper. I'm a rapper, she's a flapper. <laughs> All right, here we go. I started out really early this morning. I picked out my pumpkins, and I'm making my mother's famous shepherd's pie and pumpkins. Earlier, we cleaned out all the pumpkins. We cut off the tops, took out all the seeds, and hollowed them out. I actually washed all the pumpkins with a brush because when you get them from the farm, they're really dirty, so we wanna make sure they're perfect. So it's as simple as that. You just wash it, clean out the pumpkin, and make you a little topper because we're gonna stuff these. And I'm gonna show you the stuffing next. I just want to hear it speak tonight the storm will reach its peak. So Julie, I'm gonna show you the stuffing now. You know, it's a traditional shepherd's pie. So what I'd like to do is um, basically saute the onions first in olive oil. Polovita, my favorite, olive oil. right? So we're gonna start there, the olive oil. And we're gonna saute these onions, which I've already cut up. Okay. A generous amount. What kind of onions are those? Vidalia. Another one of your favorites. Another one of my favorites. Always the Vidalia onions. And um, as they saute, 
I'm just gonna season it up with some cracked black pepper. My go-to, what's my go-to? Garlic salt. Ah, you know it. <laughs> you know me, right? So we're gonna do some garlic salt, and we're gonna let these reduce. So while the Vidalia onions are sauteing, what I did was I boiled 10 pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I took them out, I added three sticks of butter, some garlic salt, cracked black pepper, and some milk. So now I'm gonna whip them up. Look at those, Julie. So I know you love the, I love the potatoes. Do you know what I do with these potatoes? I First I mash them with my regular potato masher, then I whip them with this hand blender, and they come out so amazing. They're so creamy. And these are unbelievable in the shepherd's pie. All right, Jules, tell me what you think. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? They are delicious. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm gonna just add a little more cracked black pepper. They're almost ready to go with the Hamburg. Now I'm making 12 pumpkins today. So I did 10 pounds of potatoes, 12 pumpkins. We're going to do six and a half pounds of beef. I did three pounds of ground chuck, around an 85%, and then I did a 90% ground sirloin. So I mixed them, so it has a little bit of the fat ratio going on, but... But it's not as oily. It's not as oily. So when do you know when these onions are done? They have to get translucent. Okay. Okay. When we say any place, we mean it. Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Europe, U.S. You name the place and any place travel will get you there. Plus any type of experience you want to book. Group travel, romantic getaways, epic adventures. Look no further than us. Experts in travel for over 30 years and counting. With round-the-clock customer support. Any place travel. Call 401-831-8000 or visit anyplacetravel.com. Let us show you the world. They're really getting translucent. It's time to add the ground beef. 86, 90 ratio. And that's gonna be three and a half pounds of the ground sirloin, 90% lean. And I did three uh, pounds of the ground chuck. So we're gonna chop this all up. Now, before you put your meat in, you take it right from the refrigerator or? I always get it room temp because um, it's easier to, to work with. Yeah. Look at this awesome pepper mill my sister got. Isn't it cool? I love it. Yay! <laughs> and now we're going to add I'm a little spinning. of the uh, garlic salt. Okay. And we're going to saute this up. Break it up, saute it up. Guess what my secret ingredient is? This McCormick brown gravy. It makes it so delicious. It has a creamy, delicious. And guess who told me about it? My husband, Rob. So he said, add the brown gravy. I've been adding the brown gravy. It's a great touch. So it, that holds everything together. It holds it all together. It makes a great gravy. So we're going to use three of these. And now we're going to add some water to help the brown gravy get a little thick. So we're going to do that. So just a, like the half cup of water. Yeah. Of water. We're going to probably do a little more. You know how I like to add water and reduce? Well, Italians, you know, usually it's by eye. So it's good. So this is sauteing. I'm going to add one more cup of water. So we're going to add one more cup of water. One more cup of the water. Okay. Now this has to brown. So Julie, the beef is done. Let's do a cheers to our Halloween episode. Spooktacular. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Here we go. Woo! Wow, that's a lot of Look beef. Look at that. We're gonna mix this up with the brown gravy. Look how beautiful that is. 
Beautiful. Juicy and delicious. Now when this bakes in the pumpkins with all the layers, the pumpkin is going to cook inside. Absolutely delicious. Are you ready? Alexia Forties, here we go. We're gonna start with the beef. We're gonna put the beef right inside the pumpkin. Get all those delicious juices and kind of flatten it out. The next layer, we're gonna do some corn. And by the way, I got this beautiful corn at Pippin Orchard. When I went, I boiled the corn, I shucked the corn. Harvest season. Harvest season, Harvest. we're gonna add in the corn right here. Some pepper. Now we're gonna put in the mashed potatoes. These get all delicious inside. I mean, shepherd's pie and a pumpkin, is this great or what? My mother has made this my entire life. Every Halloween we look forward to this. Smooth it out. And look, the perfect top. Put the hat on. Pumpkin is delicious. I don't know if you guys have had pumpkin, but I'd recommend you trying it. It's in between, say, a butternut squash and a sweet potato, I'd say, right? I've stuffed the pumpkins, they're ready to go into the oven. I would say about an hour and a half to two hours, depending. You can kind of tell when you pull down the pumpkin, if it's very tender, they're ready. 350 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours. You actually have to steam these pumpkins, so you add some water and it's gonna steam the pumpkins from the bottom up. So you add the water, and I add about two cups of this. And I just had a special guest arrive. Yeah! I'm here with my boy, Joey Achado, from Johnson, Rhode Island. Hey, Joey, tell me what you've been up to. So, um, I've been working on singing a little bit, um, trying to get a few music videos done. Uh, I've been dancing a little bit, um, playing some sports, have a football game tomorrow. Um, I mean, I was on a television show with Jennifer Lopez. I Wait a minute, I saw that you kissed her hand. He kissed J-Lo's hand, I mean, he's like so wild. By the way, this isn't a real mic, it's kind of like a bling bling, but it's cool, right? Yeah. So, we'll use it as a prop for this show. So, it is the Halloween episode, and guess who he is right now? DJ Paulie D. Paulie D in the house, also from Johnson, right? Yep. When I heard about Joey on that dance show, I was like, oh my God, I've got to watch this, and I was like blown away. He was on stage with Justin Bieber, picked out of thousands of kids. He auditioned, he made it, and you actually gave your business card That's right. to one of the girls in the audience. Because you, you said, Joey Achado, and I'm single. Next day, uh, she called me. I love it. So he's here tonight DJing our Halloween bash. All the kids are coming. I can't wait for you guys to see the costumes. Happy Halloween 2018, baby. Woo We're going to do the Pauly D. <laughs> All right. Incredible, Dana, because you are incredible. So <laughs> Everyone has to come. Oh, little mercy. Oh, no. I'm afraid. Hey, Howie. Ah, Robbie. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Cheers! 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 
Christmas. Happy, Happy Halloween. So I want to thank Sax and the girls in Centerdale for providing these amazing Oktoberfest beers. So I have right here a Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. So this next dish is a butternut squash soup that I have made on Thanksgiving Day. It's a great starter dish. We start by washing our butternut squash, and I have it all peeled and ready for you, so I'm gonna cut it up now, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's so super easy, and when I tell you, it is amazing for a Halloween party, Thanksgiving, anything. We start by washing our butternut squash, and I have it all peeled and ready for you, so I'm gonna cut it up now. We're gonna cut it up in chunks like this. Now we're gonna boil it. We're gonna boil these until tender for about, uh, say, 30 minutes. I'm gonna start with five pats of butter. Look how easy it is. Oh, that's kind of how we do it, right? To see what you think. So we're gonna put the butter in. Okay, we're gonna get this butter going. One and a half medallion. We're gonna saute this in the butter. Get it all beautiful and caramelized. We are not adding anything to this onion right now. And the reason why, when we add the chicken stock, if you don't want to use chicken stock, you can use a nice vegetarian stock, vegetable stock, beautiful. So guys, I just strained the uh, butternut squash. Now we make sure all the water is out. We're gonna mash it up. So this will incorporate with the uh, Vidalia onions and butter, and it's gonna be a base for our butternut squash soup. Well, Nancy, what's better to come on a cooking show and be a cook? Come on, stop bashing, Nancy. <laughs> Fantastic. Chef Nancy, darling, will you check us with the pumpkins? <laughs> this was a family tradition. My mother actually my entire life made shepherds pie and pumpkins on Halloween. We looked forward to this tradition. Sorry about your hat. We looked forward to this tradition every year on Halloween we would have this. People would come from miles around, state to state, country to country, to have these shepherds pie and pumpkins. But, you know, it's something I've always remembered from my childhood. And that's the important thing about You Had Me in the Kitchen. Carrying on family tradition, keeping family, love, food, fun, alive, and you know, it all revolves around food, right? Yes, what do you think, Ma? Yeah, I love that. So why do the zombies creeps and ghouls and turn them into rapping fools? When we say any place, we mean it. Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Europe, U.S. You name the place and any place travel will get you there. Plus any type of experience you want to book. Group travel, romantic getaways, epic adventures. Look no further than us. Experts in travel for over 30 years and counting. With around the clock customer support. Any place travel. Call 401-831-8000 or visit anyplacetravel.com. Let us show you the world. I forgot I wasn't rapping, I was cooking. There we go. All right. So, what I do now, guys, you're going to make this. I know you are for Thanksgiving. So, we're going to start with our onions. We're going to put our onions into the blender. Okay. It's simple, it's tasty, it's seasonal. And right now, what we're going to add is some um, vegetable stock. So, you can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever you prefer. After we blend this up, we're gonna also cook it for a little bit. About that amount. Hey, I'm Italian. <laughs> Mama always said, we don't need recipes, we're Italian. <laughs> but I try, I try to give my electric foodies my recipes. So we're gonna whip this up, you're gonna see the consistency start to get rich. Now we're gonna reduce this, so we're gonna pour it in. So not too It's many very many thick right now. Right. So right now it looks like more of like a puree. I put a spell on you. 
I seasoned it up with a little black pepper, garlic salt. It's very thick, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little of the vegetable stock. We're gonna keep reducing and reducing. As you turn it, it becomes a beautiful soup. Cooking takes time. You need patience and love. So if you love cooking, you will have the patience to continue the dish. See this? Never rush. Never rush the beautiful dish. Right, Jenny? Perfection. <laughs> right? You can't rush. You perfection. can't rush. Look, see how it's starting to get loose? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little more pepper. This is more of a savory dish, not too sweet. And the thing is I don't add cream or melt to this dish. It is virtually very low very fat, delicious. you know, it's healthy. healthy. It's I mean, we did add some butter, but for the amount of soup we're making, yeah. six packs of butter, that's really nothing. Yeah. And it's also Look at it, oh my God, the consistency is getting gorgeous, smooth, so velvety. So let's see what we're going. Oh my God, is that good? That's gorgeous. All right, we are done. We're gonna let this sit out for a while. Now let it simmer for About 15 minutes on low. Oh my God, Christina, smell this, it's amazing. Oh, that smells so good. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go outside and see what the kids are doing. All right! Great idea, I'm yes. gonna cause you some trouble. I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from its slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the monster mash It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash they did the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and the Sun. The scene was rocking or retaining the sound. He got on chains back by his main hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive. But the purple group, the crit kick of life. They played the monster match. It was a graveyard smash. I think the pumpkins are ready. What do you think? Oh my god. Oh my god, do they look good? <laughs> Wait a minute. How are we gonna get these out? I think we need a werewolf. And, and a pirate! A pirate. <laughs> yes, a pirate! I love what happened. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh! 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 Oh, pirates love that. <laughs> So we're going to make a simple cornbread casserole. We're going to start with two cracked dates. This is my favorite sour cream, Daisy. A dollar for Daisy. This is a family friendly recipe, guys. You're going to pour it in butter. Pour it right in. That's the cream corn. Pour it right in. You're going to throw that in. Nice and neat. Oh, that's right. Pour it right in. All right. All right, pour that right in. Well, mix it all up nice, nice. The key, after all those ingredients, guess what the key is? Jiffy corn bread mix, or any corn bread mix. So you fold that in. Mix it up, Robbie. Each kid gets five seconds of pepper. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and what I like to top it off with is some smoky paprika. So we're going to put it into the oven right now for 45 minutes on 350. My beautiful friend Renee, she nay nay hey, she taught me this about 10 years ago and I've been making it ever since. Here it is. 
little crack of pepper, little crack of pepper. My sous chef Christina, a little salt. Oh yeah, baby. Stir it up. Stir it up. Oh, you already got my spoon. You're so kind. All right. So right now I'm gonna serve the beautiful butternut squash soup in these amazing glasses. So we're, gonna lay those up. we're gonna dollop each one. Oh, that looks amazing. I also like to put a little touch of pepper. Sweet and savory. Yum. The cornbread casserole! Yay. There it is! so fast because this it's food is really so good. good. <laughs> I get good. so excited. All right, here That's we go. Delicious. And this is for you, Alexia Foodies. So, what you're gonna make for the Halloween, Thanksgiving, shepherd's pie and pumpkins, butternut squash soup with a dollop of daisy. Joey. <laughs> Ready? A dollop, a dollop, a dollop of daisy. <laughs> and we got our cornbread casserole. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Here we go. Ready? You ready to eat? Yeah, ready. Everybody say yeah! yeah. 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 Come on. All right. Here we go. job. I'm just so thrilled and happy and content that you learned how to do this. This is something that I'd like you to carry on with your children and, um, and their children. So Absolutely. this is something that you would pass down. The, the um, butternut squash soup is divine, Thank smooth you. and velvety. The pumpkins <laughs> look amazing. You did a good well, job. Well, I learned it from watching you. <laughs>